What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're at the almost the end of the Vintage Cube. Unfortunate. But that's just how it goes, you know? Wizards does not want to keep the Vintage Cube up all the time because people would be like, it's too much. It's too much Vintage Cube. You know? I think we're going to take this Stoneforge Mystic because we have not really drafted like white, cheap, mid rangey decks. What will you stream when it goes down? Someone asked me that yesterday, and I wasn't sure. What do you think? If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I was probably just going to pivot to, like, bro draft or whatever until Phyrexia all becomes one. All is one. One, one for all. All for one comes out. <sighs> There's something about Vampire Hex, Mage, and Thespian Stage in the same pack. Mage and Stage... My problem with legacy streaming is I feel like the cards I need to compete in legacy are more expensive than I would even be able to borrow, if that makes sense. Like, I can borrow a certain amount through mana traders, but like, how much, how much is, what's the price for like one, I think we want to take this Vryn Wingmare to be honest, right? That seems good, right? I'm going to hold it on Vryn Vin Wingmare, and I'm going to go look up the price of some of these ridiculous, like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, White Plume Adventurer and, like, Seasoned Dungeoneer. Off the wall decks are still fairly pricey. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of legacy stuff. I think. I don't even know what I have anymore, man. I know I have all the duels and all the fetches. Do I have, like, show and tell? I don't even have show and tell? Oh, my God. But, like, Badlands. Yeah. You know what I love about Hearthstone? If you type, like, duel, all the duel lands would show up in Hearthstone. Like, you can type legendary, and all your legendary cards show up, you know? It's really kind of cool. I think it, it might just be Teferi. Teferi is a good a good boy. I think it's better than land tax or recruiter. Ooh, palace jailer, MVP. Yeah, Urza's Urza Saga, fifty dollars. Like let me look up seasoned. Did you actually look it up? You might have actually looked it up. Ragavan is seventy tickets. Seasoned Dungeoneer. Is only five? That's how is that possible? Is that correct? White plume is only eleven. Wow, that's actually not nearly as bad as I thought it was. I thought those were way way higher. Early December, white plume adventure was about seventy five. Wow, like is I still don't know if that's playable. Maybe it is actually. You know what? Maybe it is. Is it Luris here? No, because we have these guys. I think it's just Elspeth. Chart a course. Chart a course is very consistently probably just draw two in this deck, right? You know, you know, there is a Golos. <laughs> I'm gonna take the draw two though. I kind of like the idea of like a, like a aggro mid range white blue white deck. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, big tefs. Oh man. Yeah, this is actually you know maybe we just we got all the planeswalkers here. Stone, Vryn Wingmare is getting more awkward considering we just we just drafted three, four, and two, three, four, and five mana non-creature spells. Uh, 
was walking along, minding my business. Uh, none of these are any good. I guess we can take tar pit in case we happen to want to splash a black. The model black Golos deck in modern is definitely right up Frank's alley. I have not seen it yet, and I look pretty thoroughly. Oh, Tundra? Wow, that's perfect. I'm so excited. The reason I said draft blue-green yesterday is because I love fast spawn with card draw shenanigans like Time Twister or Upheaval. Um, I do too when it comes together. Like, the, the problem is fast spawn is so polarizing. Like, if it's when it's good, it's really, really good. But when it's bad, it's literally, like, unplayable. But if you get Upheaval, fast spawn goes way, way up in value. So I do this weird thing, and I religiously check all the MTGO decks. Uh, I specifically check Legacy, Pioneer, and Modern. And every time I see new cards that I don't have being played, I try to pick them up. So that I have a very... Uh... Oh, Hollow Found. Wow. It might be Sun Titan here, but I think we're just going to go for the fixing. Recruiter and Sower both came back. Uh, let's go with Sower, I think. Um, so I have like a very, what's the word I want to look for? It's not concise. It's maybe thorough, um, uh, a very thorough set of play stuff that I have all double sleeved, not diverse. Hmm. Yeah, inverse. That was it. All encompassing, maybe. That's that's close. I have a very all encompassing set of 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 play stuff. So, for example, I'll give you guys an idea. I have to clear off my desk a little bit here. This is a box I have right next to me. It's never going to show up in a million years, I guess. All right, that's cool. All right. Well. <laughs> That was fun. Oh, Mox Jet, eh? Well, and a Dark Depths. The one time we don't take Vampire Hex Mage and Thespian Stage, the Dark Depths comes along. It's still got to be Mox Jet, right? It's just a Mox Jet. Shadow Box, impressive. I thought so too. God, our four drop slot's getting fat. I still think it's Chase the Mind Sculptor, though. Especially now that we have a Mox, we can cast them on turn three. So let me see if I can actually go to this filter and see if I can. Oh, see, look, now you can see everything. This is only 20%. That's still really good. Okay, now he's reserved. Let me see if I can bring this up now. Okay, no, still no. Let's go to quality. Threshold. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's so funny how like, it's either like off or on, and this is like a 0.5% difference. Anyway, this is my big box. This is, this is literally from red. Aria of Flame, so red A, and this goes to Nettle Sentinel, green. And these are all double sleeved in dual matte sleeves. And I have six boxes like that, all full of play stuff. So let's see if this is correct for the camera. Plains, Swamp, Forest, Mountain, Plains, Swamp. So, Plains and Swamp are looking good here. Um, this pack is actually not impressive <laughs> for us. Uh, I kind of just want Pestermite, I guess. I don't think it's Thalia. And I also have it documented in a spreadsheet. Um, 
So for example, let me see if I can open this in a new tab and show you guys. Uh, I th is it Urza here? I don't think we're an Urza deck. I kind of just want the Karn, man. Oh, Fracture Identity. Perfect. Haven't played this yet this, this season. Uh, yeah, so I have this spreadsheet. And it literally documents all of the colorless cards. White cards, black, blue, red, green, multicolor, artifact, lands, basic lands, and tokens that I have sleeved up. So I know exactly what I do and don't have. And then I can say, hey, do I need this card? No, I have it. And then I can also upload it to like TCG player if I wanted to know the value. I could just add it to the mass card entry feature. Uh, I kind of like, is it Signet? But I also like Riftwing Cloudscape, but I also like, is it Signet? Because we have a lot of four dropped. Four dropped. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of excessive when it comes to organization. I like things having exact locations and places that they belong, and I like knowing where those things are. Yeah, I'm gonna take Riffling Cloudscape. Sort of Fire and Ice I kind of like here because we do have uh, Stoneforge Mystic, but I don't think I can pass Polluted Delta, especially because it gets us a black and we have a Mox Jet, and that just opens up our possibility to splash a black. Same with Marsh Flats, but I think I think I think Council's Judgment's probably just better here. <laughs> no clue what to be. That's the thing, though. I'm always like, I, there's so many times where I'm like, oh, I bought extra copies of this card and I didn't even know because I didn't know I had them. So like this, when I have something I want to put in my play stuff, I sleeve it up, I put it in the play stuff, and then I'm documented in the spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to take swords here. Oh, cryptic command? Destroy evil actually could be pretty good. I don't know if I'm feeling cryptic command here. Just because we have a lot of four drops and it's triple blue, I think we're going to go to destroy evil. That feels weird, but we'll just take triome because again, it's a black. Oh, Esper triome. Yes, sir. Passing Lion Sash is rough, but... Uh, this is funny because there's a Deceiver X Arc and we already have a Pestermite. I'll just take Cathar Commando, I guess. I don't know. Wow, Mana Tithe and Baneslayer. I'll take Baneslayer. Maybe I should have taken Mana Tithe. How many off-color moxes is too many? <laughs> oh, boy. The, the off-color moxes are better, though, considering all the fixing we have. We also have a creeping tar pit. Yeah, just, I mean, I'm just going to take a mox here. Oh, a Celestial Colony is great. Like, the reason the off-color moxes are bad is because you're playing them over a colored land. So, like, the more colored dual lands you get that make up for that um basically offset that i would love to get one sword or actually what i'd really want is a cauldron com cauldron complete Mox, yeah, and yeah, bird, yeah. I think it's sort of body and mind here. I was just asking for this. 
Actually, we're going to take the Mind Twist. We have double mocks. Yeah, we're going to take Mind Twist here. Uh, I say double mocks to ramp. We have Mox Jet, Rafine's Tower, Survive Triome, Creeping Tarpet, and Polluted Delta. Now I'll take a Treachery. Sure. Let's twist again. This dude is just a three mana planeswalker that we can cast on turn two with one of our moxes. I do like Elite Spellbinder. I like, yeah, I like either one of these actually. I did pass Mishra's Bobble, that's true. Is that. Is that wrong? I think I like Kaito here better. Do we just want Phantasmal Image? I don't think I care about Sphinx. Uh, I don't think I care about Path. I want to put... Mm, actually, maybe Cathar Commando is main deckable. Oh, good old Fanny Taz. <laughs> Fanny T. Um, I personally like Course of Portal still. Uh, I'm going to take Godless Shrine, though, because we can get it with Delta, and it turns it into a Tri-Land. Plus, I want to be able to cast our Mind Twist and our, our Kaito. And also, it, it turns our Mox into a non-color Mox, I guess. So there's that. How's this look? Pretty good. I'm really, sup I'm really surprised at the NVIDIA background removal. It's very impressive. I remember back in the day when Phantasmal basically read Destroy Target Legendary Creature. Is that... Was the legendary real present for that guy? Is that true? <clears throat> I don't think you're lying. What is this flicker? This flicker is Palace Jailer, Sower, Riftwing, Stoneforge, which doesn't do much. Could just be Shark Typhoon. Could also be Unlicensed Hearse, which is pretty cool. I'll take Shark Typhoon. Oh yeah, that's right. No, they were playing. There was there. I think there was a time where you were playing three mana Jace, because if you could land your three mana Jace first, they couldn't play their four mana Jace. Your screen goes to all green screen after like ten seconds. That's really weird. Irk, what up, my dude? Good seeing you, buddy. Thank you for the bits, man. Even if just, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll just be back forever, you know? Yeah, legend rule one was that if someone else had a legendary creature with the same name as yours, you couldn't play yours. Uh, legend rule two was that if someone else played a legendary creature with the same name as yours, they both died. One would kill the other, basically. And then the current legend rule is um, you just play your legends and you can only have one of each. Each player can only have one of each legend. I mean, if we don't hit another enchantment or another artifact, I'm probably just cutting Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, well. I guess that's that then. I definitely don't actually think we're removal uh, an upheaval deck though, unfortunately. Oh, lingering souls is actually much better now. 
I would easily play that over Pestermite. That seems great. I'm going to cut Baneslayer for now. I think Gideon's better than Baneslayer. I think Kadar Commando is a sideboarder. This is only seven creatures. But Kaito makes creatures. Elspeth makes creatures. Gideon can turn into a creature. Shark Typhoon makes creatures. Treachery steals creatures. I think I missed some. Hold on. Oh my god. Let's go row by row. Uh... Lingering Souls. Yeah, it's, it's dual land. Mother Runes, sure. Lingering Souls, Kaito, Elspeth, Treachery, Fractured Identity, Gideon, Shark Typhoon. That's seven. So that's almost, that's 14 creatures. This makes creature too. I don't think we're playing Vryn Wingmare by any means. Still two cuts, huh? Sword of macaroni and chicken strips. <laughs> The macaroni and the chicken strips. It might just be factor fiction. I feel like we have a lot of card draw that's cheaper. God, that's so weird. And maybe destroy evil can be sideboarded. This feels okay. Oh, we have so much, so many good lands here. All of these are fantastic. Tundra, you're fantastic. Double Mox. Definitely Rafine's Tower. Um, I don't know if we even need these, to be honest. Okay, let's see what we got here. White sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is 10 white sources. Uh, blue sources, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Black sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. That's really good. So this is 10, nine, six. That seems good. Hmm. Sword of Sunny D and Burning Throat. I think this is good. I could see bringing in Spara's headquarters in place of, like, a white. But right now, we already have two lands that... Three lands that come into play tapped. Yeah, I think we just want to pass. I think this is fine. I don't really want four lands that always come into play tapped, so... On our, our sideboard's good. Re Relic Order, Bane Slayer, Destroy Evil, Cathar Commando. <laughs> oh dear a meatball sub with extra mayo 
the meme that will never die. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ugh. I wonder if this round's ever going to start. It's always, it's always taking like a little bit over a minute. Just a little bit over a minute. Yeah, I'll keep it. Let's go get a Rafine's Tower with this guy. Uh, yield until the next end step. Crackerino. Look at that, we've got all our colors. If any of the next two cards are a mox, we get to play Elspeth on three, which is nice. So that's not one. That was an island instead. What were they going to do there? That was interesting. Fascinating. Those are good hits, man. Those are good hits. Jesus. Wow. You knew what you were getting into when we became friends. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Fascinating. You got it. So next turn we'll Elspeth make a guy. If they want us to sack, we can sack the Wall of Omens. Oh, I like that. Unfortunately, this does mean when they... When they make a sacrifice. Or when they... If they tick up, we're losing our fractured identity, but... Him to Torok hitting hitting mind twist. It's uh, it's a real David and Goliath story. On the bright side, a lot a high percentage of our deck is castable now. So, oh good, we got that guy. They're clearly reanimating, but they don't have anything to reanimate. It seems so. You got it. I'll make another one. Create a one one white soldier boy. Next turn, I'm going to give him a little jump. Okay, they're going to have two cards. If they plus Lily, they have one card. Ooh, they, uh,. Played that untapped, huh? I will block because they forgot it does not have flying. Because everyone does. Unless they're just going to damnation? Okay. Maybe they thought I forgot. Who knows? Well, we're definitely going to play that. <clears throat> and then we can Jace lock them. Uh, okay. You may put that card on the bottom. No. I'm good. We Gucci. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a situation where, like, even if you, even if you ultimate Liliana here, we still have an onboard Elspeth and a Jace. So, like, no matter how you split them, either I'm going to keep one of them or both of them because you can give me both of them and nothing else, and I'd still probably keep them both. It 
If the moon are made of barbecue spare ribs, would you eat it? No, because I'm not a big meat eater. <clears throat> so I'm probably the wrong person to ask. One land, huh? Fascinating. Ruin the tides for some barbecue sparrows. <laughs> oh, they never stood a chance. What if it was an impossible moon? You know, I love impossible stuff. It's fantastic to me. Um, that being said, I don't have this like ravenous desire for it. You know what I mean? Like I would just take a normal portion of, of impossible, whatever, impossible X, be it a burger or, a, you know, whatever. I, I personally don't necessarily need a moon size portion. Hey, Norm, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? Shut up and take my money. Oh, I'm Elk Tears, or am I? Fascinating. A, myster a mystery. A mystery, it seems. They're going to discard like Gristlebrand. You ready? It was a swamp. This is fascinating. This deck seems to have all the components of a reanimate deck. But none of the reanimation of a reanimate deck. I'm fascinated. I put a meat patty and put it on top of an impossible burger to make the world angry. Fascinating. Each player discards a card. Interesting. Well, that's pretty okay. Let's do that. I was just going to play Skull Clamp, uh, equip, and then flash back, but now I'll just hit your. Now I'll just kill your Liliana. Your Lilina. Also, if they play this guy, we can just fracture identity it. Presuming we draw land. Bold presumption, nerd. We can also phantasmal image it. And then cast skull clamp to bounce it. Ha ha. Ha ha. That would be fun. You know what, man? If you guys are eating beyond like or beyond or impossible sub stuff with meat as well, like that's totally fine. You're still eating less meat than if it was all meat. So, like, I take my wins where I can get them, man. Good should not be the enemy of... Perfect should not be the enemy of good, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're definitely gonna... We're definitely gonna fractured image that. Fractured identity. It's not fractured image. Fractured image is... Uh, it's when you combine the two. When the two cards touch. Then you get a fractured image. Or a phantasmal identity, you know, whatever. Uh, why no meat? Uh, I like animals more than I like meat. I think we'll discard Skull Clamp at this point. Is this what going off feels like, Dad? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We almost had enough to like. 
we almost had enough to activate their own. Any good cards from one? Yeah, there's been a ton of good cards from one. You know what's funny? I'm actually most excited currently about one of the sacrifice cards. There's a two mana black card that's like sacrifice a permanent. No, sacrifice a creature, sacrifice a planeswalker, or something else. Or it's like creature or non token creature. You guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to look it up right now. It's like the two mana sacrifice card that's like super common in every set now, and they have variations of it. This is the the one with all version. I'm looking it up right now. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature or each opponent sacrifices a creature token or each opponent sacrifices a planeswalker for two mana at instant speed. Like that's going to replace like sudden edict in the cube or Liliana's triumph or whatever, whatever I have currently. Yeah. They love sticking each on cards because they're like, now it goes from a standard card to a commander card. This guy right here. Shieldred's Edict. Let me get that. Let me get that Mox. Come on, bro. Doing me dirty. Oh, Should have been Delta to get that Rafine. I get so excited about being able to play Shocklands tapped at an opportune time when I won't need to, to use them. Like if I have a two drop and it's turn three and I can be like, play my two drop, play my Shockland tapped. Like it feels so elegant and so perfect that sometimes it's like, oh, I wasn't going to do anything else, so might as well just do that. Okay, so we see an ever-flowing chalice. Oh, May Mayhem Tilt. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Are you planning on streaming the new set here or arena or a mix of both? I don't actually know. Is there a preference? Does that matter? I, I like it. My default is probably going to be arena because I think it's easier for me to do drafts on arena. But honestly, I really have no idea. I don't think we're going to counsel his judgment either of these. Your number one tipper on Streamlabs is Senator Pope. <laughs> that doesn't sound correct, but, you know, who knows? I'm almost tempted to take them off their second black slash second blue. Because then we have, like, multiple turns of things to do. I'm just going to pass. I'll assume whatever they play can be Council's Judgmented, and that's probably better, right? Triple M, we're 1-1 one, one right now. 1-0 oh right now. Yeah, I'd rather get rid of that. <laughs> and we get to get Rafine's Tower. Yes. This guy's coming down next, right? Yeah, I like it. One, two, three. Get rid of this guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And especially because they have two cards in hand, so I feel like they're kind of going all in on course of portal here. Plus, we still got a sword, sword to plowshare. Something crazy happened at work today. I had a motor blow up when I was tightening the spring mo mount for it. it that sounds terrifying. Anytime you're working with, like, large equipment or vehicles and something blows up, probably not great. This is two games in a row that someone has a Wishclaw Talisman. Oh, wow. They're just firing it off immediately. Fascinating. Put them into play. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Bounce this thing. 
Hmm. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. What do you think they got? What if we go get Mind Twist and then Mind Twist their whole hand? What if we do that? I guess we'd be one short, right? It still seems like it's got to be good, right? Through the Breach. Oh my god, if they're just stuck with like an Emrakul in hand. That's hilarious if that's the case. That'll do it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Cathar Commando seems good. We've seen numerous signets. And don't group these. Don't don't group them together. Why are these two buttons? Let's talk about user interface. These should be one button that does the opposite thing of what is happening at the time. Combined groups does nothing when they're combined and group creatures separately does nothing when they're separately. So why not just have it one button that switches depending on which one you have active? I don't understand. Also, guys, if you could, if we can get to 10 HelloFresh subs by the end of this stream, I would love you guys forever. That would be absolutely incredible. It's a great deal. You get 21 free meals. You get free shipping. Uh, we had one the other night. It was, it was delicious. I had the corn and pepper chowder. And I don't know what to tell you. You guys are going to eat anyway. It's a great way to support the channel. We got six meals for under $30. It was like $28 for six meals. And honestly, you guys are going to eat anyway. You guys are eating. I think you're already eating. <laughs> oh, that emote is fantastic. That That's true. It is from the 1800s. All right, so we're going to bring in Relic Order and uh, not Desert Evil. Destroy Evil, rather. Mmm, Desert Evil. My favorite kind of evil. What we're trying to do is sort by mana value. I have an eight. Eaten. Eaten. We'll take Shark Typhoon out. That seems like a dude that's just kind of... Just kind of... And, and, and I don't know if Phantasmal is actually good here. I don't know. It depends on really what they're... They're through the breaching, so I'm going to take it out. I don't think it's going to... I don't know. This hand's not great, though. Mulligan. Okay, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll give it, give it. I'll keep it, keep it and give it. I'll ship this guy for now, and we'll see if we can get another white source. By another, I mean a single white source. That's not it, that's a blue card. That's a white card. These are the words that I'm saying that are coming out of my mouth. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. Red, red into signet, white source. Okay, you're not, you're not, you know what? Not to stir the pot, but I'm eating as we speak. That sounds true. That sounds like something you would do. That sounds like a real Zomba thing to do. Okay, well. This is my life now. This is my life now. Oh, they didn't do anything either, so maybe we get a chance. Oh, we did it. Long live the king. I don't know if you guys know, but that's from uh, Lion King. That's cool. I didn't know you had that. Ooh, maybe when you talk like that. You know, you guys know, uh, you guys know Shakira? I'm just gonna take this, because I feel like you're waiting for that fifth mana. Oh, we just win the match. Okay, well, these have been going well. <laughs> <laughs> this has been this has been a successful draft, I guess. Good grief, man. You guys are really you guys are really killing me here.
this chat has really gone off the rails here. Which is something I feel like I say every single stream, you know? When are they going to make a magic set based off the Twisted Metal franchise? <laughs> God, Twisted Metal was so good. Dude, I remember how much Twisted Metal I used to play for just the PS1. I'm looking at it now, and those graphics do not hold up, unfortunately. Okay, so if you use the link, it you shouldn't have to plug in the code. Like, you still can at the final... You plug it in at the final screen. It'll have, like, on the billing side, it'll have, like, a, a code entry. But as long as you use the link, you should be fine, as far as HelloFresh goes. Okay, I don't hate this. Presuming that we draw some lands, you know? Come on, landies. That is a land. I'll take it. That's a turn two Teferi, which gets to bounce their Utopia Sprawl, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okie dokie. Dear Jesus. <laughs> Mother of God. <sighs> okay. Need another blue source. Would Sweet Tooth be a... I think they would all be vehicles. Or they could be double-sided like the Transformers, you know? Yeah, I think they might be double-sided. Oh, shit. That's, that's bad. What did they draw? Escape? Hmm. This is going to be a thing they're doing. Grist. Okay, Augur. It's a lot of things that are happening right now. Hmm. 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 Uh, yes. One, two, three, four. Sower. Let's take your Oracle. And I will play another land off the tippity top. Got big tefts coming down. When was the last Twisted Metal game? Let's see what this article says. Twisted Metal 2020 came out for PS3. Yeah, we had a feeling they were going to do that, but that's fine. Okay, uh, that's a lot of cards. No longer have escape. They do have auger in hand, dark confidence in this little pile. Minsk and Boo on top is a little scary. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, things are happening right now. <sighs> okay. So you know they have auger in hand, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. There's a lot of things they have right now. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We could attack Grist, but I don't think that's great for our board position. We could play Teferi and Tuck something. I also just kind of like instant speed fractured identity during their turn to get a guy. Like we could steal their Minskin boot EOT. Is that good? I don't know. I think we just pass here. I don't think Teferi, Riftwing, or Elspeth do anything good for us here. I think it's keep up fractured and see what works. Okay, so now they have Hell Hex Drinker. He Hell Drinker. That's a totally different card. Okay, Augur is now gone. There's almost a part of me that hopes they dark depths into. Um. Into. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Merit Lage, so that we can fracture it into the Merit Lage and then just kill them <laughs> but I feel like we're a little bit off from that yep dark confidante strip mine that sounds fun and they did not play land yet this deck looks kind of ridiculous you need anything I think I'm good uh huh uh huh uh huh one, two. Actually, that doesn't do anything. What do we care? Why are we doing that? Like, just let it go. And then we take. I feel like we're actually in really bad shape here. Can float my Lage. Thankfully, my Lage already has flying. So. I would love some Key Lime Pie, but Kerwit being in. Uh... Man, my kingdom for a, a Damnation or a Wrath of God here. The minimum subscription, I think, is like literally two meals or, um, yeah, I, I don't actually know, but I'm pretty sure it's low. Like me and Katie spent 28 bucks on three, we got three meals with two servings each, so six total meals, but three individual meals. Yeah, this doesn't seem great for us. Isn't that weird? I'm gonna go to the next game because I think we're just kind of out of our depth here. Okay. Um, oh boy. Start drafting Wrath of Gods and things much higher. Was that the same game where we were like, they don't really have many cards left in hand? Or was that the last game? It might have been the last game. So we have two lands here. What does that do? Notice how we have not draw Stoneforge Mystic in any of these games. Um, chart of course is actually fine. We can chart of course to try to hit a third land. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll turn the fan off for a little bit because my eyes are drying out. So, we're going to Tundra. We're doing this under the assumption that they will not be able to go Soul Ring, pump this for three. That's, that's all we're thinking right now. <laughs> uh, get rid of Rifty, McGifty. Drawing a Mox here would be great, because then we can just go Elspeth, make a guy. Or we can just go Swords, Sword, Sword, Sword. What? Interesting. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, so they had all the cards they needed, but they chose not to do it. Well, so now I'm definitely going to get rid of that guy. Oof, brutal. Well, that's annoying. So they clearly have like, oh my goodness gracious. That's also annoying. Wow, this whole board is obnoxious. Wow, what a bunch of MVPs. Hex Drinker, Ragavan, Dark Confidant. Yeah, if they just went turn two, level up Hex Drinker to throw instants, like, I don't know if I can beat that. Also, I don't know why you're playing Ragavan and then playing other stuff. Like, Thespian stage. Are we dead? <laughs> yeah, I feel like the deck is very good. And that's okay. Sometimes you just have a good deck. Hmm. Ding, 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 people are strange when you're strange. If we get another mana, we can just go sword, equip, jump, attack, mill. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Carry added. Play Arid Mesa. Shuffle. Try to find another land. Everything's happening. No other land. Escape wilds. <laughs> there it is. There's your boy. It's your boy, Merit Lage. Well, that is another land. We got, we're going to be lingering here. Faces come out of the rain when you're strange. Yeah, they might just make it. I don't think they're going to make it until they have to. Oh, wow. Am I... What? Fascinating. Oof, this is fascinating. Stomping? Escape? Yes, yes, yes. 
Oof. Do they have enough? I think they do, actually. Wow, they go Stomping Ground Forest. Renin Six, kill a token. Blood Chief's Thirst, kill the other token. That's insane. Holy shit. You literally need four out of these five cards. <sighs> That's hilarious. That's unbelievable. What? Wait, what? I, um, what? I'm very confused. What? What just happened? I'm so confused. Six mana. This is very weird. Okay. Cornbread Pyro casts Frank Lepore X is two. Frank Lepore creates four cornbread pyros. <laughs> is that is that what happened? Wow. That's uh Boy, that's a uh, hell of a turn. Uh, I think I'm just gonna attack, I guess. Attack your face. Oh, because they have they have uh, endurance. Sure. This is why we should have equipped this, I guess. I saw endurance earlier, but I literally thought it was off the. I thought it was off the escape to the wilds. I no longer had it. So that's unfortunate. They're just gonna sacr they're just gonna get rid of our uh planes is what I was gonna say.
I'm like not even keeping track anymore because like we're on borrowed time. <laughs> I have no idea how this happened. You got it. I mean, if they pull out this win, I'm going to be extremely shocked, and they did not do that. <sighs> wow. Sure, an artifact or enchantment. They don't have a ton of those. Destroy evil. Creature with toughness four or greater. They don't have a ton of those. Leonin Relic Warder. I actually think Baneslayer might just be fine. Also, we have lots of answers for a... Uh, uh, Merit Lage. Also, Pester Might's a good answer for a Merit Lage. So watch. We haven't had Karn all draft, so we're going to open him. We're going to have him in our opening hand, which is going to be rough. Because it's probably going to prompt a mulligan. Hmm, actually, that's not bad. God, they have strip mine and wasteland. So one, two, let's just go. We'll go tower. We'll go mox jet. Play skull clamp. Oh, dude, I, I sing the Sunny D jingle without even seeing Sunny D. I'm just like... <laughs> like, I'll just be in the kitchen and I'll just be humming it. And I'm like, wow, that's really in my brain for the rest of my life. You think they're going to go strip mine? I mean, I have a bunch of lands here. Fucking eye roll. Oh, God. Oh, what up, Grandma? Big Grams? <laughs> That's funny. Here comes the ramming up excavator because they have not had it all draft yet, so they're due for it. Ragavanos. Interesting. I'll just let you connect with that guy. You can have a hit. Oh, there goes Bane Slayer Angel. But we didn't really want to draw that, I guess, so maybe that's fine. Dark Confidant. Hmm. Well, I don't have two blue or two white here, so that's kind of awkward. Because I'd almost like to steal this guy. Ha 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 ha. Lucky, 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 lucky. Elf. Ragavan in hand. Okay. No elf. Oh, Taiga? You played the Taiga. So, Reclaimer. Ragavan. I will easily trade with Dark Confidant here. See, now we're talking. So. 
so is it so of temptazione i believe so So now they have to trade with either Dark Confident or Ragavan, which is fine by me. Oh, they're not trading. That's fascinating. What? That's annoying. They don't have a second black. I oh, guess they do. Never mind. So long, sore of temptation. <laughs> oh, God, man. It's like the perfect cards every time. Their deck is way too good and way too consistent to, for them to be bad, I think. This is a pest. This is a pest infestation for two. That's really good. Fascinating. Two, three, three, four, five. I think it's just Gideon here. And then make them attack Gideon. We'll attack with Sower because I'm presuming that they're going to kill it. I like that Gideon's like, y'all have to attack me next turn. And these pests are like, all right, spread out. They're at six. It's not nothing. Tribe Elder. Just call it Tribe. -y. Targeting Gideon, yeah. You know, I honestly kind of hope that because I wanted to keep the Sower. Yep, so they have one card and it's we know it's Blood Chief's Thirst, okay. That seems good for us. Literally no world where I let this guy connect. So big treaches on the top, huh? Last card cannot be Blood Chiefs. You're right. I forgot they cast it. <laughs> oh, Tom Bombman. Appreciate you keeping me honest, buddy. There's a lot going on, okay? God, you guys are... It's so much easier to pay attention to a game when you're not, like, making the decisions in the game. See, my problem with playing Palace Jailer is that puts us at four creatures, and they will have four, five, six creatures. But I do want to get them off this Dark Confidant. Uh, but I don't want to take five next turn. So it's like, you know. This puts them to four. Maybe we Palace Jailer their Ignoble Hierarch?
<laughs> like, I kind of want to keep them on Confidant, to be honest. No, I don't. It's just extra cards. They have one card in hand. We have to, we give them two turns. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh, we get to draw Teferi next turn. That seems good. What's it going to be? Four. Through the breach. Escape to the wilds. If they just drew that off to our confidant, I'm going to be so sad. They can go land, excavator, wasteland. That's actually not that great. Land, sure. Field, sure. Grist killing sower here is pretty bad. Yep, yeah, don't like that. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Mm, no, don't like that. Oh, they have their own skull clamp. Fascinating. Okay, so that's all the cards in their hand. So they can't play anything else right now. I actually... Oh, I guess they go... Oh, God. Skull clamp on top is rough, dude. But we can just steal back treachery, or we can steal back Oracle with treachery. They got their, they got their confidant back. Two, five. So we know you have these guys. And your top card is a forest. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just... This sower was a was a was a clutch piece of the pie. They have a thespian stage that they can get with the Ramanap excavator as well, which is really rough. Um, did they draw skull clamp? If so, oh, they drew off the monarchy. Yeah, so they have skull clamp. They're going to draw a forest. I don't think they're going to cast Merit Lage during our turn. <laughs> or during, like, during their turn. They're going to do it at the end of our turn. Yeah, I kind of like Fractured Identity here. Oof, Karn, huh? Okie dokie. Well. Interesting. They took one from crop rotation. God, the deck is really good. They have three cards left.
Okay. Well, so another hand is crop rotation skull clamp. Oh my god, are they just gonna deck themselves? What is going on here? They're drawing two. Monarchy's gonna draw them a card. Well, that guy's gonna automatically hit. Where did that guy even come from? <laughs> oh, I guess they drew it off Skull Clamp. Sure. But now they can't Merit Lage. And they just die next turn to the Monarchy plus the... Are they just dead? Because they're going to EOT, they're going to draw one from the Monarchy, and then they're not going to have a card to draw during their next turn. How did we win this game? Also, they had Ramming Up Excavator, and they just played Forest first. Like, I would have easily went, like, Ramming Up Excavator, then played two lands, like, Graveyard Lands, but I don't even know what's going on. They have no cards. Do I think I just pass? <laughs> Uh, I feel like passing is correct. Uh, yeah. I... Oh, wait. There's no endurance in their graveyard. Wow, that's really good. That is cute. Yeah, I don't think we win this game after all, actually. Wow, Endurance is really good here. Fuck, that's, that's insane. Yeah, it's not in the graveyard, and it's not in play, and it's one of the three last cards they have. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Where's the mind twist when you need it? They're at seven. I don't get it though. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Yeah, they're just going to cast it on upkeep. Like, I don't know. There's nothing we can really do, though. They didn't even cast it on upkeep. They cast it at end step. Yeah, that's, yep. It's really good. <sighs> it's really good. Oh, yeah, Questing Beast was probably the correct play. I wasn't actually thinking of surviving that turn, so... You know, I, I think we're... Well, always having it is a lot easier when you've literally drawn your entire deck, I think. My kingdom for a mistake into a wrath of God. <laughs> sure. Yep, that's game. All right. Ah, <sighs> it's unfortunate. Thank you guys for watching. What a game. Check out HelloFresh, please. Really, really appreciate it. It's a great way to support the channel. They give me about a six times kickback on uh, 
on any subscription. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and it's a great deal. Like, honestly, they're really good. And you should check them out. And if you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, this is the best way to do it. Uh, you can also subscribe or follow on Twitch, on YouTube. You know the places. And I'll see you next time.